What's up guys? It's Abigail and this week on the 7 Beach Beauties is DIY or how to week. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your very own lipstick at home with things that pretty much everyone has in their kitchen. So let's get started. So first you just want to have a container. It can be any shape or size. So this is the one I'm using. And now we're just going to start mixing everything together to make the lipstick. The first thing you're going to need is actually butter, and I know it sounds really weird, but as you may have noticed that butter has a very similar consistency to like lipsticks or lip balms, and also they're going to just give your lips a really nice uh, natural shine, and of course it's natural because I mean it's butter. So just take a good amount of that and put some butter in the container. The next ingredient is actually cream cheese, and this is also going to keep your product very nice and creamy and moisturizing. And it's going to bounce out the yellow tones, and it's a little thicker than the butter. So yeah, it's just going to help keep your lipstick thick so it doesn't become too much of a ball. So now in your container, you should just have a little mixture of cream cheese and butter. The next ingredient is ketchup. And of course, ketchup is all natural because it's made from tomatoes. And this is what is going to add the color to our lip product. Um, if you, so obviously, this is going to be a reddish toned lipstick. So you're just going to squirt the ketchup all over the butter and cream cheese. And you want to take some extra virgin olive oil, and that's going to make uh, your product very moisturizing. Just put some of that in. So now, as I said, it's really easy, and uh, one more thing that I like to add is I like to add some cinnamon, uh, just for flavor, because cinnamon tastes really good, but don't do too much, because then you'll be giving yourself a cinnamon challenge. So just kind of put a good amount. Then take your spoon again, and just start mixing mixture all the way up. So now this is what your product should look like. It's okay if there's like a little bit of chunks because those will eventually even out. But yeah, there's the mixture. Then you're just going to want to open the freezer and put your mixture in there overnight. And then the next morning when you open up your freezer, you have a perfect made homemade lipstick and as I said the chunks really evened out and it makes it look like a really nice store-bought product just by freezing it overnight. It actually creates a really pigmented nice quality product and you would never guess that it was homemade just by some simple things in your kitchen. I hope you guys enjoyed this at home DIY lipstick and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will definitely do more DIY videos in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!